Hello. Uh, just to continue from where I left off as far as uh, uh, the gradual incremental erosion of our personal freedoms of constitutional rights is concerned is an observation that I have made since the fall republic of our beloved mother Ghana <clears throat> that once our leaders appeal to us their integrity and then we vote for them we give them the mandate to carry out or manage the affairs of country and people on our behalf they don't accept critical questioning they don't they're not comfortable with we calling them out to the point that those individual who has the boldness to do so becomes victims that's not democratic democracy promises that you are given the mandate you are responsible with accountability to us so if we the people cannot raise critical questions with respect to a behavior an action or inaction of a political leader within our country then what is the health of this democracy and therefore we have to be able to exercise our rights in being critical if we have to because one thing that the our leaders promise us is accountability probity in the absence of we being able to raise questions make demands as previously mentioned democratic accountability becomes absent and that means that these individuals who we have mandates to manage the country on our behalf become self-dependent and selfish in their decisions and behaviors and this trend of individuals who have become critical or having questions or making demand of government becoming victims have to stop for us to practice a well-balanced healthy and sound democracy which is one of the determining factors of the state of the country think of that feel free to leave your comments and your views on the victimhood when we attempt to question the actions of our leadership this is not um identical with only one party since the fourth republic that has been you know it i know it anyway think on that till then i'll come your way again god bless mother ghana long live the fourth republic thank you